Okay. <laughs> that was extremely loud. <laughs> I must have had my sound up too high. Thank you, Kathy. All right, welcome everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own the Stock Swoosh, and today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite topic, besides television, uh, is gaps. Okay, gaps are the strategy that I trade. And we're going to talk about how you can actually earn a living trading. Now, how can you do that? Focus, having a strategy that's consistently profitable, and you can use options and day trades to use this strategy. So you can you can earn a living simply doing options if you want. You can combine the two or you could just do day trades. So for me personally though, I think that doing both is really interesting because sometimes you get bigger moves when you get overnight moves with the options, okay? And you can get some really big trades. I also like the day trades because they're quick. So there's pros and cons to both. That's the way that I look at it. So we're gonna to talk today about how you can earn $400,000 a year, or really more. I have a woman, a female trader, she's already up more than $400,000 this year, um, and it's only half the way through. So the sky's the limit, really, with trading, once you get good at a strategy, and also then it depends how much you risk per trade as far as sizing, which we will talk about today, too. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com and you can call me at 929-3200 GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And again, you can write your questions in the room as, as we go along, I'll say them out loud. Right now, we're still in this period where not everybody is back to their normal jobs. A lot of people are working right now from home and they have time to trade. The nice thing about trading is if you want to do this full time, you can work from home forever. Uh, so it's very convenient. And again, look at what's happened to the world this year in 2020. It's one of these things where you say, you know what? I'm glad I work from home. I was all set up to do it before the pandemic hit. And I know some of you are working from home now, but eventually you will have to go back to work. And, and if you learn how to train, you can work from home all the time which is very, very convenient, okay? Any questions, just write in the room. I see some people still signing in. <coughs> I am taping this, so you know. Anyways, we're halfway through almost the year. And if you're trading now, it's a good time to look and evaluate. Are you making money trading this year? Are you on track to meet your goals? Are you behind in your goals? Are you not trading and thinking about trading and want to get going for the year? And again, half the year is already gone. You still have half the year left. You want to get going and get somewhere with this or start it at least before 2021. So it's a good time to kind of evaluate because we're at that half point of the year. And, I, and I'm doing that for myself. How can I make improvements? Do I want to increase my risk? Should I keep it the same? Next earning season starts early July. All of these things that we think about and evaluate as traders. But one of the critical ingredients to being successful in the market is to have a trading system. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I apologize. I don't think you can be successful unless you're consistent. And for me, <laughs> the consistency comes from doing gaps every day. And I don't do anything else. So my system is a gap system and I don't do anything else. So many people flip flop from thing to thing to thing to thing. At the end of the day then, <clears throat> it's very difficult for you to get good at something. <clears throat> if you're all over the place, it's gonna be hard, okay? Like if you were doing a sport, you wanted to play tennis, the more you practice, the better you get, the more you play, or golf. My father is a very good golfer. He golfs a lot during the season <clears throat> and he's golfed for a long time, for years. So he has, um, you know, a, a very low score. It's practice make perfect kind of thing. <clears throat> Without this, you will get up every day and not know what to do if you don't have the focus. And you won't know when. Tons of people fail all the time trading because they have no system whatsoever to follow daily. I have one system and it is the only one I follow. And it is based on shorting stocks that gap 
in the first 30 minutes of every trading day, okay? So doing one thing and nothing else is critical to your success. And also, how are you gonna know if what you're doing is working or not if you're doing too many things? You won't know what it is that's failing. So it also helps you determine if what you're doing at all is working, is correct, if you're on the right path. When I figured out my gap system, I started trading gaps. I saw how much money I could make even in one gap. And that's how I ended up honing it down and pinpointing it that there really was something to gaps. And also that I didn't need anything else but gaps to do. <clears throat> and again, you can do them as day trades, swing trades, or options. So one strategy is all you need to be successful in the market, and in fact, that's all you need to even make 400 grand a year. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have that, and they fail all the time. So learn how to read the price patterns and gaps, and you don't need to do anything else. Because if your reason for doing this is to make money, you will make money by the having the focus. It's the focus on one system, okay? So many people think they need to be a jack of all trades. That is maybe give you a lot of information. Maybe you can talk about stuff. Maybe you're knowledgeable. But, you know, I'm a very focused person on the goal, which is making money, okay? I like to make money. And I like to make a lot of money. And that is one of the benefits of coming and trading with me because I'm looking at what I like, okay? And I am focused on making money. And so when I'm looking at a stock or the market or a gap, I'm seeing the money in it and I'm predicting it ahead of time, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But gaps are very, very powerful. So the system is so powerful that it can identify the fast moves that occur within the first 30 minutes of the trading day. And long-term moves that can be captured with limited risk in options in less than two weeks. So the options I'm doing, I'm doing in about two week period. And again, my system is based on stocks that are gapping. Stocks that gap in the morning have big moves and often a clear directional bias that gives knowing where it's going to go a real, real edge, okay? So what is a gap? When I say a gap, it's the difference between the close and the open. The stock market in the U.S. market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time, opens in the morning at 9.30 every day, except for Saturday and Sunday, Monday through Friday. But I'm referring to an event it happens every morning in the market. And I say market, it's all stocks, the market and stocks, okay? <coughs> all together. But stocks that are closed overnight often have news come out when the market is closed or they have something like an earnings, news or earnings. The next morning when the market opens, these stocks open at a price that's different. Could be above, could be below. There are bullish gaps, there are bearish gaps but the stock is opening at a different price that it closed. That is what is creating the gap. The gap's happening then live. So this means there's been a big move in price without anyone being able to buy it or sell it in the period of the time the market was closed. There are some people that trade after hours. That's when the gaps are being created, but many people don't. The active times the market is open is really from 9.30 to 4. So, but this creates urgency for people that are not trading the after hours, that are in trades that they took the previous day on the next day, and the gap occurs, and they see the gaps in the daily chart. Okay, is everyone with me? <coughs> Let me know if you have any questions. So gaps are a specialized strategy, very specific. If you want to make money in the market, you need to think and act like a true, true professional. This is true, even if you're trading only part-time. Professionals have specialized strategies, systems, and reasons for taking trades. And it's really not hard to understand why. There's so many things out there you could be doing on any given day, and most traders lose money. They're not focused. They don't know what they're doing. They're all over the place. I'm never amazed when people are telling me that they saw something on TV or the internet and they took the trade. They don't know why they're taking it. They don't know why they went long or went short. They have 0% conviction. Why do it? You have to understand what you're doing. When I take a trade, I understand it. Why am I doing this, okay? So one of the benefits of trading gaps, many, 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 but most of the biggest benefit that I find is the amount of money that you can make and quickly. Now, when I say quickly, I mean in a day trade, a few minutes. When I say quickly for an options trade, less than two weeks. 
which is very different than a long-term investment or a string trade that you might be in for months or years, okay? You could take a trade for an option on a Monday and exit in on a Thursday. That's still fast to me for an overnight position, okay? So you can make real money in the market. And I think the people that have been with me this year, particularly people who are doing extremely well, are almost surprised and shocked how well they're doing. And it, it's funny, like if you've had a, not a good run of luck trading, and then you come and you do my class and you take the trades and you're starting to do well, you might be shocked too. Sometimes people think it's something wrong with them. They think they suck, they don't have the skill set. It's a lot of times it really has to do with you're doing the wrong strategy. You're not following a good mentor, okay? So how do you get to your goal of this? You got to make good choices, which is the stock picks and basic discipline and trade direction. Have a plan of action, good system, quality entries, and this is across the board, and you can't over trade. Sometimes people trade all day. I don't like to do that. You also can't be piggish. I call it a piggy target. Like you could be up in something and you hold it too long. People have trouble with that with options. They're up a lot and then they think it's gonna keep going and then it doesn't. You have to be concerned about time with options. You have to chunk it out. You, you take each trade on its own accord. You will lose in some trades. My system has about an 80% win ratio. So you figure of 10 trades, two will lose, eight will be winners. And that's why you have to set your risk. So far year to date, this doesn't include today, this is through last week. If you risk $2,500 in trade since January, every trade I call live, I call all the trades live in the trading room, following me, entry, $2,500 risk, exit, you could be on pace to make well over a million dollars this year. So we're six months into the year, and the year to date is 587, 435. Again, this is day trades, not options, with a risk of $2,500 a trade. So this is very, very good. Um, some of, one of the reasons that we're up so much this year, one of the reasons I'm, I'm having such a good year is, some of the ones we've done have been just really big winners. In fact, let me, no, you know what, let me finish this at the end. At the end, I'll go over what we did today because I don't have that in here. I'll go over the one for today. Um, we did CCL, we shorted it. And I've really, really uh, gotten some huge moves and stuff this year. Now, part of it is, again, the system I'm using to pick it, and then I find the targets that way. But the other piece of it is the market's been volatile this year. We've had volatility. We've had the right moves, okay? It's trading momentum, I'm trading momentum. But if you can't risk $2,500 a trade, guess what? Risk less. You could risk twelve fifty, dollars and still be up almost $300,000 this year. This isn't the day trading room. This isn't the options, too. This is just the day trades. You could risk six twenty-five dollars a trade. Again, I'm breaking it down. You'd still have on, be on pace to make almost one fifty dollars a year. And we have six more months to go. So it has been a very, very profitable year. I've been doing this now a long time. That's part of it as well. It's more than 12 years. And just like anything else, the more you do it, the better you get. But the money is real in the market. You say, well, then why have I been having such a hard time? Why do so many people fail? Is it chance? Is it luck? No. It's just that many people don't take trading seriously. They literally throw darts at a board. And even if you're risking 200 bucks or 300 bucks, you say, well, it's $200. Well, it's only $300. You know what? That adds up a lot. You got a lot of losers, all of a sudden, you're, instead of being down a couple hundred, you're down a couple thousand. You must take success seriously. You have to give it all you got. That means learning. It doesn't mean just doing, okay? It means studying your charts, studying what's going on, even after my class, asking questions, being engaged, showing up every day, getting up early, having breakfast before you trade, maybe reviewing your trades at night, just like a business, taking it seriously, not taking pot shots and not just following somebody, it's actually learning it. And you have to think like a rich person. You can't think like a poor person. And many people think like poor people. And what do I mean? They wanna take one big trade, talk about the piggy targets, and they think that that one big trade is gonna wipe away the 100 trades they took and all the losses they ever had ever before, that one big trade. That's like how a poor person thinks. A rich person doesn't think like that. A rich person says, 
I'm going to take this train. It's a good quality train. It's about odds. The odds are in my favor. It's not the end of the world if I lose. And if I win, I'm going to make sure that I book the profits. Do you understand the difference? With a poor person, when they lose, it's like the end of the world. And they just keep throwing more money and more risk into a bucket. And that poor people that don't have as much money tend to take too much risk. And again, they don't get out right. You follow what I'm saying? It's their piggy targets. Now let's talk about this one here. This was a gap. This was, yeah, it was last week. We did WW, this is Weight Watcher, stock closed here, gapped up. This was a gap up. Stock closed here at one price, opened in the morning higher. I rated it using my system. It was a long. We didn't do anything else in this. I didn't call any options in this. And luckily we didn't. It had no follow through. So this was a day trade. Okay. Actually, this went more than I thought it would. This is, again, the gap here, closed here, gapped up. Okay. This is the rally. This is a 15 minute chart. And here you can see we got in it long and it took off. Okay. But I actually got out of this way before here. I thought $30 was a reasonable target, but again, no piggy targets. Here was the trade. Entry was $28.70, stop was $28.10, so the risk was $0.60. Cents. Ad was $29, 12,000 shares, average price was $28.85. We did an ad, which I don't do all the time. It's almost like doubling up two, two or three trades in one. I really liked it. I really had a lot of conviction. This was last week. What was the day here? The 16th. And then ended up getting out before it hit through 30. This went almost a dollar past this, which is hilarious. Because look at how I could have actually doubled my profits. But this was a good amount of money. Again, no piggy targets. Beautiful trade. So this, I called in the room. And in fact, I think I might even have the room online on the YouTube. If you go to my YouTube, you can listen to it. But I really thought that 30 was going to happen. But again, you know, when you're up a certain amount of money and you're getting into the morning, you got to book it. This was another nice trade. This was Boeing. This was a day trade. On this day here, this was a couple of weeks ago, early June, Boeing was a short. Stock closed here, gap down, <coughs> rallied first fell and we captured it entry in this was 186.20 stop was 190.75 this is a big stop okay you can see here so 800 shares risk 36.40 exit 167.40 this was a huge move i'm going to show you the daily on this where this went i took this um you can see here 115 in the afternoon it was during the period when it was running profit 15,040 on a day trade how look at where we entered it look at where it went so it almost went twenty dollars now here was the day chart now here it is here was that day here's the full day i'm just showing you here how this ended up transpiring so we got it early actually we shorted it when it was green you saw that little green period this then is how it ended up going and then you see it really nice move so just going back here, you can see this rally and the drop off here on the 11th. See that? And then here's, this was the day we did it on the 10th. So this had follow through. This is the day in here, dropped, fell, rally, fell, gap down, fell. Okay. So really, really nice move. And again, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I said the 10th, this was the 11th, sorry about that. This day was the 11th, we did it. It's hard to see the dates down here. Anyways, we, you see how we captured that so early? We were in it when the bar was still green. So the stock gapped down, closed here, gapped down, rallied, fell. So some people were long that, but it wasn't a long, it was a short. And you can see that the big play was the short. Closed red, sold off from where we captured it was almost 20 bucks, $20 move. <clears throat> Everyone see that? So actually, if you had added, we, we could have done an ad in this and it just, 
it was just too far gone. Up too much by the time it was going and I didn't want to kill the price in it. Boeing has been a nice short for 2020. It really has been really, I think, the top short so far this year that we've done. This was another one here. So this is interesting. The day before that big sell-off, okay, I called puts in the morning. This is the option newsletter. You would get the trade to your email. It was almost 10 o'clock. You could have bought the put. Strike was 200. This was the day before that big bar. Okay. Now, you can risk whatever you want for options. You could have bought one contract and spent $925. This isn't cheap, but it definitely paid. This was 289% return on investment. Nine contracts is an advanced risk. Sold at 36. Profit was 24,075. Now, I'm going to go back to the daily. It had gapped the day before. So I actually called that here. You could have gone out of it here. Actually, it was, it, was up, it was up here this previous day. If you held it overnight, though, boom. You see how this really went then. So you could have taken it here, got out. Or you could have held it for one day and got the boom. Because it opened that morning at 180. And I had called the 200 puts. Okay. So it gapped here. And it gapped here. Any questions so far? So I'm choosing plays like this. Okay. And like this. Based on my gap strategy. I get up early. I rate the gap every morning before 9.30, sometimes as early as 7, 8 a.m. And then I'm determining if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do a put, if I'm going to do a call, if I'm going to day trade it. Now this was, actually this was, the, this was the day before that day. We'll go back and look at the daily again. I had called the 220 puts. Now sometimes I do do this. I do multiple strikes in the same ticker symbol. I kind of stack them. This was 9.45 on the Tuesday. Cost was $14. Again, this wasn't cheap. So one would have cost you fourteen hundred, but well worth it. Profit fifteen thousand six hundred, one hundred eighty-six percent return on investment. Again, this is going back. Called it here. So I called the two twenties here, and then it went a boom here, and then I called the two hundred here, and then it went a boom here. So beautiful sell off there in Boeing. Beautiful, okay. Any questions here so far? These are all gap trades. Some are options, the newsletter gets emailed to you, some are day trades. For me, it's to focus on quality. Quality, 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 quality. I'm looking for quality. I, I wanna do something that I feel is a high odds of gonna, gonna work. I don't really wanna do something that's a 50-50. I don't feel like that's enough. I mean, and it's not just because I'm risking several thousand dollars in a trade. It's, you know, although that's part of it, it's also like I don't even want to risk a dollar in a crappy trade. You follow me? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's still a dollar, a dollar. It's like not gambling. You're better off going to the casino. Any questions here so far? So anyways, as you can see from some of these trades we're talking about today, like the Boeing ones, I do like to short. Okay, I prefer to short. You can make money going long. WW was a long, okay? We're an Apple long too right now. I like longs, but I prefer shorts. So shorting for me is really the way to go for the quickest moves. It's panic, 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 panic. When panic comes into a stock, it sells off. And that's how you make money shorting. So how are you gonna find and pick which gaps to trade and play? You would take my class and learn my rating system. It's a 26 point rating system. It tells you which stock is going to move in what direction on any given day. The system is 26 points, but in order to make the, to do the trade, to get the quality, I'm looking for 20 or more. It doesn't have to be a perfect score, okay? 20 is really the cutoff for me. 20 is the number. So I'm saying, all right, I wanna do 20 or more to take it. If it's an 18, 19, 17, it's 50, 50 chance of working or failing. So then I'm not really doing this, okay? I'm looking for the ones that are 20 or more. 
Okay, any questions? So it's one system, you use a checklist, and this is what you learn in my class. My class is this weekend, I do my class once a month. You learn the system, you learn the strategy, if you have questions, you come back and ask me after the fact. You could be in the live trading room then and get the calls, and you can do the options newsletter too. It's however you wanna do it. The nice thing about options is you don't need a margin account to trade options. You do need a margin account to day trade. So we do options in stocks like Boeing a lot or other ones that are expensive because they're, because they're cheaper to do without margin as options. But if you wanna make money trading and your time is limited, day trading really is a good thing for you because the moves happen very, very quickly and you don't have to take a long time. So as far as how much money can you make, again, it has to do with your risk per share size. Like, I mean, you go, I put a stop in, if your risk is $500, and I say 10 by 50, that would be 40 cents, for example. If you took 1,000 shares, it'd be 400 bucks. If you took 2,000 shares, it'd be 800 bucks. So your risk should be the same in almost every trade, or close to it, all right? This is not an exact science. And you're looking to turn it over one amount. Now, some of these trades were big, and that's what I was talking about as far as this year. It's been a really banner year because a lot of the moves have been big. But not everyone will be big. And your expectation is that it's going to go one amount. You risk 500, your goal is 500. You risk 1,000, your goal is 1,000. Follow me? And it really should only take you a few hours a week to do these trades. And the way I look at it, they either work or they don't. Like if I'm in an option, I just play it completely out. People say, well, what's your stop in an option? Whatever the risk is, that's it. If you're risking a thousand bucks, you're letting the trade completely play out, okay? It either works or it loses. And that's how I am with the day trades too. Put in a hard stop. If it stops me, it's a loser. If it drops and works, like CCO, which we're gonna talk about here in a little bit, you're up. You get out with the profit, okay? Any questions here so far? It's been it's been it's been really one of those strange years where you're just like gosh I mean working from home has been you know, great but then you feel like gosh I just want to get out and nothing's open and everything's closed and you feel like the government's controlling you and it's just kind of nuts. Having personal freedom is so important and I think this year more than any other year people are realizing that as far as reporting to a boss. Um, and people who normally would go into the office now are working from home and they're feeling their freedom. They're feeling more independent. But eventually people will have to go back to offices and will have to go back to work. Eric, I see you in here. Eventually you're gonna have to go back. It's a lot nicer when you can work from home and you feel like you have the freedom. And then once you get a taste of it, it's, it's really hard to look back. So if you can trade for a living, you're gonna have that freedom all the time. And if you wanna take a day off, you can take a day off. You work for yourself, okay? Now, how long will it take you to make money and learn this? It depends on you. The class you take in two days. Again, it's this Saturday and Sunday. You'll learn everything in the class. Will you retain all of the information 100% right after it? I don't know, it's up to you. Most people retain, I think they say, 80% of the information after class right away. So you'll retain a lot. Doing it, though, helps you get into it once you're trading live, okay? And you start out slow with your risk and you build it from there. But it's really important to think about this year. What are you doing? And, and are you happy with your career? And if you want to trade, why? Do you want to do it for a career or are you just doing this for a side gig? I think that's important too. Even if you want to do it for a side gig, you still want to take it seriously because you're taking risk with your money. You don't want to lose extra money that you have on the side because you didn't take it seriously. What's the point of doing it then? Again, you're better off just going on a vacation or something. While trading is fun, it's not fun to lose. It is fun to make money. Okay. I got out of my job as a mortgage broker because it was very stressful for me. I wanted to do something different. That was, I was looking for a new career and that's how I got into trading in the begin with. And then I ended up creating my own system. I realized that I needed to create my own system because the stuff that was out there, most of the information was crap. 
And I realized that gaps were something good to trade and lots of the information out there about gaps was wrong, wrong, or just bad. So it took me three years to figure this whole system out and it really, really was worth it. At the time I was doing it, it was difficult because I was back and forth, back and forth a lot, but I'm glad I stuck it through because it really, really, really was worth it. Now, what is it about gaps that makes them so profitable? The big moves. The big moves, the momentum. For me, with the rating system, they're predictable moves too, <coughs> which, you know, which counts. Like I knew Apple last week was going to go to 360. So I called calls in it. It hit over 360 tonight in the after hours. I don't present conviction, but go to 360 within the next two weeks. So we did it for an expiration date of this 626. So they're predictable moves, they're fast moves, they're large moves. And all of that is key as far as making money trading. Now this was a gap um, from a little ways back. This was like right at the beginning of the, of the pandemic was starting like back here in March, okay? This is Facebook. I had called March 5th puts, okay? 185. Now let's go to March 5th. Here we are. There's March 5th. Closed here, gapped down, okay? Is that right, March 5th? No, I'm sorry, here it was. The green bar is March 5th. Can everybody see? I know this is really small. Closed here, gapped down, rallied. We're shorted into puts. It reverses. Then you get up the next morning and boom. Does everyone see this? So you were doing the puts here if you did that trade. It pushed back. Then you get up in the morning and you were up a lot of money. And then it rallied, and then it dropped down here, and you still could have been in it here and up a lot of money. But again, I wanna, I wanna show you here how this gap was a real gap, and it was, it was really a great trade, but you had to give it a chance to work, okay? Anyways, it was cheap too. For Facebook, it was four contracts. I mean, at $4 for 20 contracts was 8,000. You sold it for 25 bucks, you could have made $42,000. Return on investment, 525%. This was a beautiful call, a beautiful call. And as long as you let the trade play out, you could have made a huge amount of money. This is one of the benefits of options because this kind of move overnight, this kind of move overnight is really big. Again, we play momentum on the day. But for the stock to be up here like at 180, 180-ish, and then to be down 30 plus points, 25, whatever, within a couple of days, like you're not gonna get some, Facebook doesn't you know, trade 30 points in a day. So it's the overnight moves that you can really capture that by doing the options. I wanted to show that here with this one. And that's one of the things that can make them very profitable. That one huge trade like that can make your whole month. So I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade and when. And again, I'm calling the trades live in the room. The system is so powerful, it identifies those fast moves that occur the first 30 minutes of the trading day. And long term moves, like we were talking about just with the Facebook, an apple, which is a lawn, that can be captured with limited risk options in less than two weeks. So I prefer to do them in about two weeks, but you need to be on pace, $2,500 per trade to make 400K a year. You don't have to risk this. You can trade my system risking $100 a trade, okay? But you have to take less shares then. If you have a small account, you can build it up or you can take the profits out. <laughs> Any questions here so far? I think we will have time to look up <coughs> to pull up CCL. Any questions from anyone? Anyway, success or failure, it's up to you. It's up to you. Either if you're doing something that, that doesn't work, stop doing it. 
you have no one to blame but yourself if you're losing money in the market and you keep losing. While it may have nothing to do with you per se, it had, could have to do with the system. You're still the ones deciding to trade a bad system, so stop doing it. And you're the one to decide if you want to do my class or not. I've started people following me. They make excuses why they haven't joined. They're just missing weeks and months and years of trading and doing well. Okay? You have to want the success. You have to want to do it. You have to stop making excuses if you're not doing well. Okay? So if you take the class, you will learn how, what, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy and system that is profitable. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. What stocks should you trade? Stocks at gap and rate 20 points or more, more per the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. You trade the gap in the direction of the gap. When do you trade them? Early in the morning on the open when they set up and trigger. Okay, that's important too. You must have a structure in place to make any money at all consistently and you have to have a system that you follow. I'm looking every day for a high probability of directional bias from the whole day, mostly, ideally. Sometimes it's only the morning, but mostly the whole day. A big move, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through, and a good risk to reward target potential. And for me, like I said, that's one to one. While there are some trades that move bigger than that, again, no piggy targets is one to one, okay? But if you hold something overnight, you can get it more if it goes with your gap. So I'm looking for gaps. I get up in the morning, I rate the gap. I rate it using the 26 point rating system. If you take the class, you would do that too. It confirms the directional bias. If it's gonna go in the direction of the gap or if it's gonna flip. You get the best entry you can with precision early in the morning. You're looking for a one hour goal and you create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal of becoming a professional trader and achieving your goal of working for yourself. And again, I think this year more than ever has that been such as the fourth front for people's minds. It's important to be practical. It's important to be professional about everything you do. You will pay me if you wanna take my class to learn from me for my time and information, but it saves you money in the end because it's gonna take you years to come up with it, your own system, and it won't be mine anyways. And I have a very successful system. And you know, I know that people are back and forth. They, they open an account, they blow it up, then they save up money, then they come back. You know, how many times do you wanna go through that? It's not just the financial toll, it's the, it's the emotional toll of the back and forth, the ups and down swings. It's so much better to just say, I'm committed to doing this. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to start out slowly and I'm going to do good along the way and grow my account and get good at trading as I'm doing it along the way. And I think again, June, beginning of July here, halfway through the year, it's a good time to start to do it because you could say, I'm going to be at this point by the end of 2020. That's realistic. That makes sense. I'm going to be making this much money a month by the end of 2020 trading using the system. You know, setting goals like that Setting any kind of goals, it, it, it's really good. I set goals for myself all the time. I'm really big on goals. Uh, lists, I make lists, I have sticky notes. Small things, small goals, big goals, all of it, okay? But the Golden Gap system, it makes money, it works. Now, if you're interested, you can sign up for the class. It's this weekend, June 27th to 28th. I still have some slots available. I am doing the class nine to five. <coughs> so if you wanted to get into trade for third quarter earnings season, you would do the class this weekend. Third quarter earnings season is a good time to trade because we have a lot of gaps. That starts about the third week of July. If you want to sign up, you would email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. Now, I'm running a summer special. I love this picture. For this class, you would get all of my trade calls, the day trades and the options newsletter through September 7th with the class this weekend. This is a nice deal. Normally, you pay extra for the trade room and the letter. You would get all the trades through Labor Day. Labor Day is late this year. If you're interested and want to sign up, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. If you want to trial for this week, you can email me too. Now, any questions while I pull up here, I'm going to go to... Kathy, are you there?
Kathy, are you there?